Hey, what is up guys, it is Silverson here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review on the Dragon Ball Super episode 109. Alright, so this episode starts off with Goku still squaring off against Ripper Yen, and basically, uh, she's just doing her thing, you know, shooting off all these love attacks and, um, you know, preaching to Goku about how much, uh, you know, power she has and stuff like that, and pretty much Goku's just like, uh... Like, talking to her a little bit, saying, like, oh, like, her wish is to be, like, um, a goddess, uh, then, like, everybody in the universe is gonna, like, love her and stuff like that. And pretty much Goku doesn't know what he wants to wish for other than to fight a very strong opponent. And so, pretty much, Ribbon has, like, this small, like, little transformation to where, like, she grows wings or whatever. And so, pretty much, she starts, you know, attacking Goku with all these attacks and whatnot. And Goku seems to be in a bit of a pinch until he turns into the Super Saiyan Blue at the last minute and pretty much kicks her downward um, right right underneath Jiren's feet. And pretty much she's like all creeped out and like scared and stuff like that. But Jiren's too focused on Goku at the moment and pretty much their eyes meet and Goku descends right down to where Jiren is. So pretty much Jiren's approaching Goku and as he's walking, the like force of his like energy is enough to like pretty much shake the whole world of void and everybody's like noticing this it's like blowing everybody back and whatnot and pretty much Jiren's ready obviously but I'm not too sure if Goku is because pretty much he's struggling against that little bit of energy that um Jiren's giving off but it's like so much power but pretty much Goku um he's basically testing Jiren uh at first he pretty much shoots off a Kamameha and kind of similar to um Kale a few episodes ago uh, I'm still a little salty about that but whatever he pretty much shoots off a of Kamehameha it has no effect on him he shoots that in his base form mind you so I mean that's kind of to be expected but basically um he fires off the Kamehameha does nothing he transforms into a Super Saiyan he goes at Jiren trying to um put a dent in him but it seems to have no effect goes Super Saiyan 2 and slightly moves his neck but it's still not enough on Jiren and so pretty much he doesn't transform into a Super Saiyan 3 kind of sucks like I kind of wish he would have because I kind of do like that for him and it kind of sucks that we don't see too much of it but it's whatever he pretty much transforms into Super Saiyan God a form that we haven't seen well I mean we have seen in a while but a lot less than Super Saiyan 3 but basically he transforms into that and he starts um hammering in on Jiren pretty much throwing a fury of fists basically and Jiren's just blocking all of them with his finger his one finger and so pretty much Goku's had enough and he basically powers all the way up to Super Saiyan Blue so with Goku being a Super Saiyan Blue now he's able to pretty much knock Jiren uh, away a little bit but Jiren's pretty much blocking his attacks and they're pretty much having like a back and forth kind of struggle here and basically uh, they're just fighting throughout the whole arena you know, like, every, all the other warriors are watching them, no one else is fighting but them, and they're pretty much just, like, going at it, left and right, you know, blow for blow, basically, until pretty much, um, Jiren gets the upper hand, and he's pretty much, like, uh, just, like, stepping on Goku, and pretty much he's just saying, it's over, he punches him in the gut, and then he shoots a key blast, sending him away, and it seemed like he was eliminated at first, but pretty much Goku was hanging on to the edge of the, uh, arena, Pretty much a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken at this point. Kaioken times 20 as a matter of fact. And pretty much he charges in at Jiren. And pretty much he starts trying to attack Jiren as best he can. But Jiren is just way too powerful for this guy. He's pretty much just molly whopping him all around the arena. Just like smashing him into rocks. And pretty much Goku's like... um He's using Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken like effectively. But it's not like effective on Jiren like... Every time he tries to attack Jiren, he goes into like su goes into Kaioken, but it's not like doing any damage to him. And this really reminded me of um of like the Frieza saga, or at least like in the beginning fight with Go with Goku and Frieza, like back then when Goku was like pretty much powerless against Frieza, and Frieza was just way too powerful for him. And even though Goku used Kaioken, all that other stuff, Frieza was like barely breaking a sweat with him. That's pretty much what it was here. Pretty much Jiren wasn't breaking a single sway. He was barely trying against this guy. And pretty much everybody's just looking on. Pretty much just like confused as to how Goku's not, you know, doing any damage to him. 
and pretty much Goku tries to go in and attack him some more, but Jiren pretty much just blows him back with his eyes. Like, he doesn't even, like, lift a finger. He just looks at Goku a certain way, and pretty much he just, like, gets shot, like, a few times, and then he's pretty much out. And so, basically, Goku powers down into his base form, and pretty much he says that he's going to use his trump card. That being the spirit bomb, and pretty much Goku's formulating this uh, big spirit bomb, uh... Just from, like, Universe 7, like, no other warriors from the other universes uh, put their energy into it, which I thought was kind of a shame. So I don't, I mean, like, it's still a pretty powerful spirit bomb, but I feel like it could have been, obviously, a lot more powerful with all the other warriors' uh, energy put into it. But it's whatever. Pretty much everybody from Universe 7, except for Vegeta, like, of all people, like, I'd, I'd expect Frieza to do something like that and not to give him energy, but... Vegeta didn't give him energy for whatever reason, and so pretty much, um, everybody just put their energy into it, and pretty much, uh, Goku launched it at Jiren, who pretty much waited the whole way, he didn't really intervene, and so pretty much Goku's throwing the spirit bomb at Jiren, and pretty much it seems like it's having a little bit of an effect on him, like, it's like, on him, basically, until pretty much Jiren just pushes it back with one hand, pretty much just doing it almost effortlessly, and basically Goku's struggling at this point trying to push it back. He goes Super Saiyan Blue to try to push it further on Jiren. And it's pretty much like a back back and forth struggle here. As Goku's trying to push the Spirit Bomb on Jiren. But Jiren pushes it back at Goku. Goku powers up even more to Kaioken. Then Kaioken times 20. Really trying to push the bomb back at um Jiren. Jiren's using both hands at this point. Um, and pretty much he lets off a bit more energy. And that pretty much does the job. And... It goes back at Goku, and pretty much Goku gets engulfed in the uh, spirit bomb, and pretty much gets wiped away, and that's where the episode ends on a little bit of a, well, not a little bit, on an actual cliffhanger right there. Uh, Goku getting sucked up by the spirit bomb. But yeah, uh, as far as this episode goes, I really did enjoy it. Animation and everything like that, art and such, just looking good. Lots of action between the two. Uh, you know, this is what we've been waiting to see since the beginning. This is what Goku's been waiting to, you know, do since the beginning is to fight Jiren. And now it's happening with the two pretty much squaring off. And obviously Jiren seems to be like a really big problem here because so far Goku hasn't managed to make Jiren break a single sweat or scratch him in the least. You know, I mean, as powerful as he got, Super Saiyan uh, Blue, Kaioken times 20, didn't even put a dent in this guy, didn't even make this guy flinch. So it's just really crazy to see how powerful this guy Jiren is, taking all of Goku's attacks, even his spirit bomb. You know, it's just really crazy uh, the kind of power that this guy possesses. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Uh, I have to say this episode was really good, um, and I can't wait for the next episode. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it here, guys. Tell me what you guys um, thought was entertaining. Tell me what you guys would have improved upon this episode. I don't really think anything else could have been improved upon. I thought it was a really good episode. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this review here. And until the next one, Silver Sun is out.